Yeah, this is a CBSC science challenge here and uh, we are undergoing the course here. So first we have to click uh, uh, join course. So I am joining the course here. It comprises of four parts. First one is um, intro part. Second one is some interesting videos on science and third one is your evaluation part or your practice part and final is a quiz, right? So here it is loading, that is I'm, I'm getting my content regarding um, the CBSC science channel, right? Yeah, these are the, these are my profile details, right? Uh, my name, my uh, state, my ID and where I am from and my mobile number. And if you, if you want to share this to others, we can click share. If you don't don't want to share others, no, I'm I'm, I'm clicking this. Don't share with others. Uh, that is my details, right? So here, this is a course progress, right? So some of you can think, uh, what is that? Um, instead of going step by step, why can't we directly go to the fourth step? That is CBC Science Challenge. Actually, this bar is for that. You have to go through all these things. You have to go step by step, and this process bar will show how much percentage percentage you have completed. Without completing, without watching all these things, if you are going for a CBAC Science Challenge, your course will not be completed and you will not be awarded with certificate. Right. So let us go one by one. Uh, for uh, time's sake, uh, I am jumping. First introduction module and uh, this will give a uh, complete intro about uh, your course. That is, you are joining your course in CBAC regarding uh, your challenge. So. This is an introduction module. Uh, first, welcome screen is there, and then um, uh, everything is here. What do you need to know about uh, this science challenge? Um, it's not a collection of, uh, you know, you can read and you can understand uh, these things easily. And uh, this information, right, uh, this is open from 21st December to 11th January, and uh, no merit list will be there. No merit list will be there, and certificate uh, and no certificate will be sent out to the participants. And the participant certificates will be issued online on Diksha platform itself. So after you are completing the course uh, uh, from that date which you completed, I, I said you know there will be a course completion bar. If it is completed 100%, then after that uh, within a time period of 14 days, you will get the um, online certificate, online participation certificate. And as I said earlier, you have to enter your correct names in Diksha platform and uh, uh, that will be written in your certificate and if you are accessing the diksha app uh, and you, you have to ensure that you will be getting the latest app, uh, latest updated version right so that is the intro thing if you want you can start this content or else you can skip it off right since i'm giving you five stars here and i'm giving uh, submit no need of go for anything else okay then then i have to go for the next thing okay then yeah so i'm going back yeah, introduction model is going to see here. Now it has been 14% completed, right? I had completed 14% of my course. And I'm going for wonders of science. In wonders of science, there will be some short videos so that you can understand the concept of science. For example, artsay.com, I'm clicking this uh, thing. And each and every content you have to go completely so that your course will be completed. If you are not... Uh, 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 seeing this video completed and if you are skipping this video the, you, then your course will not be completed right yeah like that you have, you have to see completely up to the end of the video you have to see then your course will be completed right going for another thing for time's sake, uh, you can you can read. I didn't see the entire video so that I can't read. So I am skipping this thing. So next to 7 billion dreams. I click 7 billion dreams. Again, uh, you have to watch the entire video patiently. Then only you think will be there, right? So see here, I get seen this video. There is artsay.com, I get seen this video. So it has been shown tick. And then I am uh, watching this video next. That is 7 billion dreams. It will be interesting. It will be quite interesting. You can't get this kind of material anywhere. Uh, even though if you are searching so you can go for that you can go for um, full screen and you can enjoy the video well, uh, with full volume it will be awesome right so enjoy the thing whatever you are doing then it will be a good thing for you so i'm going back to the short screen right so then you have to complete all the contents of this course and uh, complete all the content of this course right and 
Yes, I'm going back. I'm going back because um, uh, I have to go for another thing. See here, uh, this shows that I had only half undergone this uh, content a half thing. So it has been now. See the process bar. It has been 42 percent completed, right? 42 percent completed. So uh, I have to go through other things. Okay. Next, I'm going for the third part. That is the practice part. So I already told you there will be some questions and there will be some clues and there will be some answers so that you can practice for your main content, uh, main challenge, main CVC science challenge. So you have to uh, take this like a mock test before attempting the board examination. This uh, will give you the answers along uh, with the questions. If you are not able to uh, guess the answer, you can check the answers uh, whether you are guessing right or not. Right. So I'm clicking the thing. Yeah, there will be instructions how to play the quiz. Here, if this if this lens image will enlarge the image, and this thing uh, to expand the question, which is below that question, it will expand the question, and this is, this shows your uh, timing, how much time you spent in that, and you should not click this icon because it will go back, right? So you should not good, and uh, if you want to check out the previous question, you have to click this arrow. And if you want to go to the next question, you have to click this arrow. And if you want to uncheck the answer, or some answers you have selected wrongly, you have to uncheck means you have to you have to click this button to uncheck uh, the answers. Right. Uh, I had uh, chosen uh, class eight, so uh, the, that is their unit fabrics. Fabrics la they'll have some questions here. So oh, we have to read these things and uh, yeah. Just now, listen here, there is no answer. You have to pick the answer for this question. If you are not able to answer, then you can click here to see the right answer. Yeah, option A and C. So these two are the right answer for this thing. Okay, like that. Yeah. Uh, the five categorization of types of fibers, right? They are given here. Whether this is right or wrong, I am going to check here. I have to click this option. Yeah, no, it is wrong. Try again or next. Okay, I'm going to try again. I'm clicking another thing. Yeah, that is the right answer. So like that you can practice. So if you're going through that, you will be having more number of chapters. Just I'm clicking the slides. You see here, another chapter has come. Another chapter has come. Okay, I'm going back and uh, and you, you can learn much more thing uh, like that of your uh, this is unit 2, colorful world of the bees, much more like that of your textbook, right? So, you can learn much more things here. So, this is the second part, uh, sorry, this is the third part, third part of your thing, third part of your uh, course, third stage of your course. So, after finishing this course, you should go for um, a direct uh, exam, like the board exam, direct uh, mock test. See here, it is 42 percent complete and uh, you can see the things. Um, Next, I am going for the real challenge. Uh, this is a score which uh, which is uh, which decides my percentage uh, where I have to uh, how I have to. This was decided by uh, the marks I am scoring in this content, right? So this is actual CBC science challenge. Uh, let us see uh, if I am not answering the questions uh, in the right manner. Uh, no negative markings will be there. No negative markings at all. Uh, the marks will be awarded to the right answers only. This decides the percentage of uh, my knowledge. Actually, you have to, that we have to think. So, this is a CBS science challenge here. So, going to the question. Yeah. They give the terms and conditions. You, you have to be 8 to 10. And you have to provide some details uh, regarding your um, class and something else. Uh, that will help uh, the Diksha platform uh, to assess your uh, standard. If you are 8 standard kids, uh, uh, we can't uh, give 10 standard questions, right? So that to assess your standard, we need some basic information that the Diksha platform will collect some information from your side. Yeah, this is instruction to candidates. Uh, the maximum time allotted for uh, this is just 40 minutes. There will be 45 questions and the maximum score is 45. If you complete the task within 20 minutes or 30 minutes or 35 minutes, that is your task. You can you can uh, exit off after finishing your thing. Each question will be having one mark and uh, you have to click the right answers and there will be no negative marking. There will be no negative marking for the wrong answers. There will be no negative marking for the wrong answers. And once you quit the challenge, your score will be recorded. If you are having the multiple attempts, 
only first attempt will be recorded and uh, uh, to get a participation certificate you have to attend all the modules of this course not only the last science quiz you have to go for all modules of the course right so you just uh, you have to type your school name i'm typing the school name here and it is kvs or nvs or government or um, others and uh, i have to mention o here because uh, it is my my school is a private school so i'm clicking over here right so how to take a quiz as that year earlier they had given some instructions how to take the quiz here the same instructions which we had in the mock quiz or in the previous year uh, will be followed here okay uh, if you are ready to go you can hit the button here so give me the next button yeah right so your actual quiz started and you have to answer and you have to go on no clues will be here no something uh, nothing will be here so i'm clicking randomly and i am uh, hitting the next button right okay okay without giving answers i'm skipping almost uh, all the questions let us see 24 25 26 yeah these are the questions here right these are all random questions right yeah it is over and i had completed all the questions <laughs> my score is just two and i had completed 335 uh, in the thing 335 so this is what uh, i had seen right when clicking the challenge i can go again i can go again but the point is what what, what is the point here first attempt will be recorded even though i am i am going for another several things and i am um, what is that uh, i am getting uh, more marks in the second attempt you have to understand that your first attempt will be recorded and uh, participation that will be certificate will be awarded for that attempt only right so i had uh, i had have the zero score right now but actually uh, in my certificate the score will be two right so that is the thing now the cbc science challenge uh, is completed and you have to understand after completing these things if you are getting the tick mark here then your certificates will be dispatched from 14 days of uh, this uh, completion of the task got it so kids uh, go for uh, cbc science challenge it will be a really really an awesome experience for you to go through so best of luck get good scores take the cbc challenge thank you all